G'day everyone, my name is Ricky Reactions 446 and also one half left plate eaters. How you going? Welcome to the 92nd video on this channel. Okay, without further ado, before I get into the video, I'm going to say something. Sorry if my camera's not working right now. It's fucking up right now, so I might have to go out and buy myself a fucking webcam. Okay. Also, please subscribe to the channels I'll be posting on screen from this point on to our 100th video. Okay, without further ado, please subscribe to Game Freak 302 and let's get into this reaction. Oh yeah, you might want to hear this reaction name, it's called The Wack Patrol. It's either in colour or in black and white. So, here we go in 3, 2, now. Oh, Wack Patrol in colour. Well, I was going to get one of those two whites. I've seen up to the intro and that's far as I've seen. German or Italian tanks? Who <laughs> Ooh, there's an Aussie! Oh, he's looking at the convoy, that's what. Mate, you just made a bad decision right there. Saving Germans. Anschließend hören Sie nun den Wehrmachtsbericht. Das Oberkommando der Wehrmacht gibt bekannt. In den frühen Morgenstunden gelang es verstärkt. Off they go. With that Jeep to up Brownings. Get a 50 cal or 30 cal buff bullets. Back in those trucks. But right, they got no hope. The trucks got no hope. Paid in the now. The trucks got no hope. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful, man. Good old firepower. Oh, crap! <laughs> put him out, put him out! Oh my god, this episode's getting good so far. Oh god. Nothing, they're gone, mate. And all you see sticking through your head right now is shit. Rap Patrol. God. I so I can't pronounce names on screen from this point on. Truth and Bite, oh god. Yep, I'm just gonna shut up and say nothing. Well, that was a quick intro. The Chase of Fire Away, really. Or oh, Chance of Fire, I don't know really.
there. You're practically on time. You ready for your swim in the great blue Mediterranean? Dude. Well, Hitchcock. Colonel wants us to get back to the unit, Sarge. Now? That's the impression I got, Sarge. Petty Bruce somewhere in town. Bail him out of whatever jam he's in. I'll meet you back at the tanks. You said you had 72 hours leave. Yeah, well, we're right, my congressman. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, come comes to me if you wish, right? Right Colonel wants to see you. Okay, thanks. On the double! Ooh, we got the M8, M4A Shermans. Oh, yeah, A1 for A whatever Shermans. The M4s. It was kind of the opposite, sir. Sorry to interrupt your paid vacation. Somehow the war doesn't wait for any of us. We've had a mission requested by the British 8th Army. They sent a replacement for you. An Englishman? Anything wrong with that, Sergeant? Yes, sir. I don't know him. Colonel, we've got to be sure of each other. How the other man's gonna react every minute. The man you're getting was in this desert while you were still sweating out the draft. Meet Sergeant Moffat. Sergeant Sam Troy. Moffat's with the 2nd Division. Scott's Graves, actually, sir. Any questions, Troy? Yes, sir. Why? That's all right, sir. I'm very familiar with the desert. My father teaches anthropology at Cambridge. His field is North Africa. As a matter of fact, really? I wrote my doctor's thesis on the ecological structure of the nomadic tribes. Before the war, I visited Africa with my father on many of his trips. Doing what, doctor? Oh, meteorology, sand conditions, odds and ends. Odds and ends. Really, odds and ends? Knock it off, Sergeant. Now, this is what it's all about. Up to now, the fighting has washed back and forth across here many times, like naval warfare. Only we're on wheels, not in ships. So there's no real front, and always open flanks to the south. Now this makes for bad supply problems, and the Germans have them worse than anybody. G2 says that Rommel's getting ready to make a major move. Now more than anything else, he's going to need gasoline and ammunition. In the desert, the last guy to run out of gas is the guy who wins. Your mission is to stop him from getting any more. Es ist ja Suche immer nach einer Nadel in einem Heuhaufen. Man findet sie nur, indem man sie fliegt. Give a lot man. I said, when one looks for a needle in a haystack, one may get one's finger stuck in it. Now, we know that the English bury large supplies of ammunition and gasoline in this area. We must find that place, do you understand? We must. Now, back here, behind Rommel's bunch, place. rather far back now, we left behind a buried dump. About 500 tons of petrol and ammunition. We planned to use it when we got up there again. But now Jerry knows about it and he's been swanning around trying to find it. We're going to have a bit of a race to destroy it before he does. You know where this dump is, map coordinates? Of course. Then what do we need him for, sir? Navigation, demolition, that's our ball of wax. Show him the pictures, Moffat. Low-level aerial photograph. Dump area, when we left it. Main part buried in the angle of this wall here. Same angle, same area, 0800, yesterday. Not quite the same, is it? See, the desert is like a lady. Puts on a new face every day. With all due respect, Sergeant, you could dig in that sand for a week and never find the prize. But with a bit of luck, and those odds and ends of mine, I can. All right? There will be many more of them when you find the supply. And above all, watch out for the English. 
the English Effendi, so deep in this part of the desert, which is yours. Yes, my brother, there's a certain unit in this desert that I've met before. Would it be amusing if they led us to it themselves? Who runs this caper, sir? You. With advice from Moffat as to route. Yes, sir. Very well. Lieutenant Canole will give you the rendezvous point and the radio code. Carry on. All going through those where you head right now, you're going to get us killed. Draw what you need from supplies. Load the jeeps. Look here. I don't think I've actually met the rest of you chaps. Private Pettigrew. Very good will man. Ought to be. He was about the best kid moonshine runner in Kentucky. Howdy. The other's Mark Hitchcock. Hitch is a high-class boarding school type. Ivy Leaguer. I say, it's what we call a public school. I'm a public school boy myself. Well, don't let his innocent face fool you. Troy, I seem to upset you. I'm not upset, Doctor. Just careful. Knowing my guys keeps us alive. You, I don't know from a croquet ball. <laughs> Bloody Commonwealth, he's probably thinking. Sergeant. I suggest we start with a heading of 140. Make a long sweep to the south and come up on the other side. I admit it's longer, but that way we'll avoid Jerry traffic. We'll make up time by traveling at night. At night? Cross open desert with no lights. Time is of the essence, Troy. And we'll have the cover of darkness. Yeah. Yeah, he's right, right? Over Wally with a busted axle. Hey, Sarge. Look at Uh-oh. I know the sound, I know the sound. Um, shit. I don't know the sound of the plane, shit. Looks like a ME-109. Or Popham, of course. 190. Well, cat's out of the bag now, I'm afraid. And hardly a coincidence. Oh, they got us spotted all right, like possums in a gum tree. About that advice, Doctor. We're rolling straight through till we get there. At night? Across the open desert without light? <laughs> <laughs> <Yes, Troy. laughs> oh, that must be a bitch, Troy. I hate to say it is a bitch. After they changed direction, this is the last place you saw them, yeah? Yes, it was there. Uh -huh. Sure. Connecting this point with where that idiot pilot shot at them. Extending the line, here's where they must be going now. They must halt somewhere for the night. Here, I think. Vida do Magus. Now, we must make sure that we do not disturb them yet. Do you understand that? They will defend it. Yalla, yalla, na peor se murda, get there. Here, there. Na bit, they should get there. Well, that's one way to do it at night. Hey, Sarge. You gotta keep us out of the bad places. Tearing up the wheels. I can't see a thing, so I just keep it moving. That rear lift feels like it's grinding rocks already. 
night driving. I sure don't want anything to happen to her. Can't we hold up till morning? Seems to be the trouble. Well, we might be needing wheels mighty sudden, and if they don't roll... Sounds logical. All right, you do. See what you can do. Bloody cold, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sorry about all this, Troy. I mean... Obviously, you were right about the night driving. I was wrong. Well, you got a message from... No, doctor. I was wrong. What's worse, I knew it going in. It was a lousy gamble. How you doing, Tully? I've seen worse, Sarge. I hope the thing will go. They say so, it will. Permission to brew up? Brew up? Tea. One always asks permission of one's commanding officers. Go ahead, use the TNT. Cut up small and makes a nice fire. You seem rather good at all this, Troy. Surprised they haven't made you an officer. Oh, they tried. I know what you mean, rather. You see, I was in the OTC at Cambridge. My family have never quite recovered from the shock of my enlistment. They all seemed to feel I had been too protected for the ranks. Shall I make you a cup? Tea? No, thanks. Great booster for the morale, tea. Even under the most difficult circumstances. I don't know how hot tea tastes like, but I've drunk iced tea. And I don't like tea. I'm more person that would just drink soft drink. Jerry's <laughs> 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 got Jerry's got themselves fucked. That's our spot, all right. That wall was in the air photos. Unload the gear. Grab the shovels and let's dig. Not yet, old man. Be a waste of time. Runs against the prevailing cam machine. Sand must be about 15 feet deep here. So what do we do now? Relax. My wicket for the moment, you see. Have to find a spot where we can break through. Let's get on the 50s. Tully, up on the hill, watch out for Jerry. Maybe Smith, light a hole. Oh, nice little um, crow's nest there, mate. Please stand by. Oh shit. Think fuck that's not for quick take.
Welcome back. Sorry about that. I had troubles with the computer monitor that I'm using. What about third dude? Let's go again. Yeah, I hit it. Here we go again. Please stand by. Okay, then do it like this. I'm just gonna scare up. Okay. 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 Welcome back. Just gave up the computer monitor. Let's go again. That's where I'd lay my bets. The whole packet. Hedge, Tully, wheel that junk over here. Close. Tell me, Hitch, take your jeep out on the flanks. Draw them off while I set a charge. Thank God, this is going to be a fun explosion to watch. And the fires are we going? Look! We're the moving sheep! What the hell? That's a nice explosion. Nice explosion indeed. <laughs> oh god, I like the one who came to play his bloody... Jesus. Bloody hell looks. Evil looks. Put on your lap patrol. people if I could stay. Hope you don't mind. Not too much. Looks like you'll be with us a long time, Doctor. I've put in a request for you. say? Rule Britannia. Why, that's what Sam always says, isn't it, Sam? I've been known to say it. When I'm drunk or sunstruck, ma'am. I'm Sergeant Victoria Moore. Fix it. Jack Moffat. Sergeant Moore. Uh, how do you do, Sergeant Moffat? You are very likely the nicest thing that's ever happened to this part of the world. And I should like to know you much, very much better. Might I take you to dinner? Oh, God, he's going to get his face um, slapped. After that, you jolly well ought to. Care to join us, Sam? 
You don't mind. Mind? Not at all. Join the club, Sergeant Troy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, they're gonna get their faces slapped. Okay, let's see if we get out, Charlie. Yeah. There's no music for it, though, too, mate. Too. Love control. Good. This is gonna get... I'm gonna get you to do it doing this. Okay, I hope you enjoy that, and I'll see you all in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe to the people that you've seen on the screen. Okay, goodbye, fellow, amen, and please subscribe.